Yes, what is it? Captain Akikios, I am King Jason of Yolkus. Senator Anaxagoras says you can assist me. Have you had any reports of suspicious men in the city? Well, there's you, and that ship full of Ionians. But we're keeping an eye on them. What about Black Tongues? I saw one in your market. Black Tongues? In Mycenae? With all due respect, sir, this is the most secure port in Greece. Every ship is inspected personally by a member of my guard. Any black tongue fool enough to come, we'd find him before he left the harbor. Can you assign any of your men to help our search? My men are too busy to chase around figments of your imagination. So you'll do nothing? It's one thing to be confident, it's another to ignore a threat. I'll not have you question my command, sir. Between Lycomedes tournament, unrest in the Senate, and your recent trial, the people are on edge. Now's the time when violence can spread like wildfire. I need my men where they are. Now if you'll excuse me, your highness. Pardon, sir. I'm Alexius, Guardsman of the Watch. I overheard your conversation with the Captain. I too saw something strange in the market. Can't say if it was a black tongue, but one moment he was there, and the next he wasn't. Did he have strange tattoos? Yes, sir. All up his arm. Clean scalp. Strange dress. Moment he saw me, he turned down an alley. When I caught up, he was gone. Keep alert, Alexius. Let me know if you see anything else. I will, sir. But if I may, some advice. Seek the Stork. The Stork? Who's that? Criminal type. Smuggling, gambling, money lending, spying. He's got his fingers in many pies. I shouldn't say this. But he knows more of what goes on here than any senator. Where's this stork make its nest? There's the rub. We don't know who he is. We've tried to find him, but when it comes to the stork, people get... forgetful. He's somewhere near the market, I'm sure of it. Perhaps you can track him down, being an outsider and all. They say a Mycenaean never loses in battle. They either win or achieve a glorious death. The slums, market, and docks lie beyond. Do you seek entry? I do. Let them through! Our orders are to give you free passage on Mycenae.
King Jason, thank you, thank you. A thousand times, thank you. Pythias told me how you saved him. Our deaths are erased, and we're leaving this place forever. We make for far off Massalia to the west. With your help, we have new life. Now, if only Hera would bless us with a child, all our prayers would be answered. May Hera bless you with the gift you seek. Farewell to you both. There's demand for flax in Massalia. The stalks for sheep to graze, the seeds for oil. I could arrange a loan to secure an initial shipment. Uh, perhaps I should handle the finances moving forward, my love. Uh, perhaps I should handle the finances moving forward, my love. This market is a temple for those who worship money. Get home. Report to the palace. The palace? I seem to recall an opening for a junior apprentice quartermaster. Sounds important. Oh, it is. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, desperate youths and foolish dreamers, what glory to the nameless dead. Are there no men here with the bronze to fight? In the arena, you... One or the other. Yes, what is it? I'd like to see your doctor first. So what if you I'll do? Give it to you for you free. have no authority. It's important. The safety of Mycenae is at stake. You're a king and you've proven your innocence. I can't just ignore the rules for you. The man of what exactly is it you want to know? There are Maybe black tongues on Mycenae. I want to know how they got here. 
Black tongues? Impossible. They must have arrived here on one of these boats. We record every arrival, and we'd have certainly made note of a black tongue, I assure you. No, we did not register any such passengers. The dock reports would tell you as much. You see them? The reports are given to Captain Akikios at the end of each day. And if you've met Captain Akikios, you know he won't release them unless you had approval from the entire Senate. I wouldn't hold your breath. Athena herself would appear on Mycenae before that would ever happen. We're wasting our time. I'm sorry. I cannot help you obtain those reports. But I can tell you, I've seen nothing no that suggests a threat to my son. And I inspect every ship that comes to port. In Very the well, Dark Master. You'll be famous. Let's hope you're right. Or dead? One or the other? What price for glory? I'll give it to you for free! Only cargo past this point. Can't win forever. Maybe one of you lot will be the first to defeat Achilles. Look, we've caught ourselves a kingfish. <laughs> Patrick treats his fighters like kings. You had the look of a gladiator from the moment you stepped off that ship. Where'd you rather go? Only cargo day. past this point. I'll have my men do another inspection on all the ships here. But I don't think we'll find them. Are there no men here with the bronze to fight? In the arena, you'll be famous! Hail, King Jason. Hail, King Jason. Dead. Your Where match the with Achilles is the talk of Mycenae. Hail, King Jason. Blast! I lose again! How long will you persist in trying to claim what isn't yours? You've been repaid everything that was your due, and you'll not see one coin more than that. You swindler! I'll tell everyone what type of business you run! That vase was mine! And if you sold it to another, then the profit is mine! Excuse me. Can either of you point me toward the stork? The stork? No. But I know a man just as dishonest. His name is Hegestratus. Leave off, Forrest. It's you who tries to swindle me. What's that issue here? A simple case of fraud. Any honest man would agree with me. A week ago, I paid this charlatan for a vase he claimed he was to receive by ship. The ship comes and goes, and I see no vase. Instead, he returns my money and says the vase never arrived. And it didn't? Not the vase I thought I was selling you. We agreed on a vase from Kenosis. There was only an Athenian vase in that shipment.
Was there a formal agreement? Indeed, there was. The contract is quite clear. <clears throat> Hedistratus agrees to deliver unto Forus a decorative vase due to arrive in the next shipment. Since there was only a single vase in the shipment, that is the vase in question. We both spoke of a specific item, and you know it. We'll see how the guild interprets it. I filed a complaint yesterday. As have I. Justice will prevail, Forus. You'll find yourself in the arena before long. Welcome. I hear you travel aboard a ship as large as a palace. Surely you need provisions for the voyage home. Master Argos handles such matters. Then I hope to see him soon. I'm looking for the stork. Shh. Perhaps I might know something. It might help me remember if I knew you were to resupply with me. Very well. I'll see that my crew speaks with you. Excellent. Here's what I know. Seek out the merchant Hippia. Her stall's to the northwest. Her son, Origen, is a hopeless gambler. He owes a fortune to the stork. He'd know where to find him. Good to know. Thank you. A restorative elixir after your grand fight? Fresh goat's blood mixed with honey and seawater for a start. No, thank you. Bread for sale? Hungry, sir? No, thank you. Perhaps I should handle the finances moving forward, my love. Ah, King Jason. Your recent trial was enlightening. I am Lysias, adjudicator for the Merchants Guild on Mycenae. Tell me, Lysias, have you noticed anything unusual in the market? Can't say I have. The only matter of note is a dispute between two of our merchants. You're used to hearing petitions at your court. I wonder if you'd help me. Two merchants, Forus and Hegestratus, argue over a disputed vase. I've met those men and heard something of the matter already. I'm in an awkward situation. I was the one who ultimately bought the vase from Hegestratus, you see. 
Now, I must decide the matter. I'd be grateful for an objective opinion. I can offer my counsel, for what it's worth. <sighs> Thank you. You say you've met these men. Are you familiar with the facts of the case? I'd like to hear the case as you understand it, Lysias. A week ago, Hegestratus agreed to sell for us a vase that was due on a shipment. When it did arrive, it turned out to be a different vase than the men had discussed, and far more valuable. Seeing this, Magistratus returned Forus's coin and sold the vase to another buyer, me, for a larger sum. So, as you see it, who is in the right and who is in the wrong? The spirit of the contract favors the seller, Magistratus, but the words favor the buyer, Forus. Both men have a valid claim. If it were my decision, I'd have the two men split the profit from the sale in equal parts. Yes. Each would then come out ahead. I doubt either would be fully satisfied, but justice will be served, I think. Thank you, King Jason. I appreciate your insight. I'll go inform those two of my decision. I think I'd rather work in the salt mines than be a guild official. <laughs> Looking for anything in particular? You're Hippia, mother of origin? Oh, don't tell me you're here to collect more of his debts. Or are you one of his so-called friends? Why don't you leave my boy alone? It's because of scoundrels like you he's in this trouble with the stork. Perhaps I could speak to the Stork on your son's behalf. Happen to know where he is? Who? Origen? He went to Hermes' shrine to make a devotion. Praise the messenger, it better work too. It's the last of our coin. I meant the Stork. The Stork? How would I know? My business may be struggling, but at least it's honest. My boy is the one who got mixed up with that rogue. But he's through with all that now, absolutely, completely through. He went to Hermes' shrine, a changed man. Oh, you should have seen his face this morning when I gave him the money. So devout and honest. I hope the devotion will turn your fortune. Good day, Hippie. 